Hello everyone, welcome back to Nigerian Fuel. So guys, let's talk about this current problem that is going on in the city of Shagamo, right there in Ogun State. I am sure that most of you are aware that there is a heavy confraternity clash going on between Black Ass and Supreme Area Confraternity right there in that city of Shagamo and this problem started about 6 days ago. Now within the period of 5 days, 12 people have been brought down. The worst of the days in these 5 days that this confraternity was started is yesterday because 8 people is said to have been brought down yesterday and i am sure that most of you guys also know that they brought down a pastor and a musician has also been brought down now in this video i am going to tell you guys the people that were brought down who they are who brought them down i will be telling you how this confraternity war started again because i have noticed that there is a lot of misinformation in the streets so before I get into it, I quickly want to point out that my videos are for educational purpose only and this is why I try to get into the details of what happened. In case for the people that are planning to go join any confraternity, for them to know that people are being brought down in this confraternity business, this is what they don't tell people before people get into it and some of them have told me that they know that people are being brought down but they didn't know the extent of the dangers they were getting into and this is why I try to give a detailed report because i know that some people might jump into the comment sections instead of them to type say no to cultism they'll be typing envy bala blue bla bla so with that out of the way let's dive into the video now a lot of people are saying that this young man by the name of anene who is a black ass member was the person that was brought down before this entire confraternity was started which is a hundred percent wrong so this is what happened you know this confraternity war between these two groups in shagamo has been very hot for quite some time so the community decided to come together and this young man made peace they have said that anyone that bring down anybody will be handed over to the community and the police and the two groups the leaders made a voice note and they announced everything that there is going to be peace in shagamo and everyone was happy thinking that the peace is going to reign for a very long time now according to what happened these two groups have been having a little bit of misunderstanding and nobody pulled hate but everyone was just hiding their head until last week when a young man who lived in Ikorudu, Lagos State but the young man is originally from Shagamo and he went back home for his mother's remembrance so the young man that lived in Ikorudu went back to Shagamo to just attend his mother's remembrance and the young man is said to be a member of Eye. he only practiced in Ikorudu, Lagos State but his members that are in Shagamo know that he is an Eye member now this young man decided to visit home and probably he did not know that there is a little bit of misunderstanding between these two groups in his hometown so the black ass members saw the young man because they also know that the young man is a member of Eye they pulled a hit on the young man and they brought the young man down so when this happened AA members became very furious they were very angry that the black ass members have drawn the first blood in this particular confraternity war so the AA hit squad went into the streets of Shagamo looking for members of black ass that very night so they were looking for anyone that is going to be seen walking anyhow up and down so that they can pull a hit on the person unfortunately they saw this young man by the name of Anene and according to how it was explained Anene was very high when they saw him he was with his friends but I don't know if those friends of his are also members of black Black ass. Some said he was high on colors, while others have said that he was high on loud. So when they saw them, the people that were with him was able to escape because they were not as high as Anene. And when Anene saw them, he was not able to escape, given the state of his highness. So the area members brought him down. Now Anene is said to be a very stubborn and popular black ass member, and he has a very long history with area members right there in Shagamo. Now they said he was one of the leaders of black ass years ago. People said he was a chairman. Now in 2010, 
13 years ago, his younger brother, who is also a member of Black Ass, was brought down by the AA members. And according to words on the street, the person that brought down his younger brother is a very notable name in AA today. And people are saying that that person was the number one man of AA in 2010, right there in Shagamo. Now, in 2013, three years after his younger brother was brought down, the person that was now the number one man of AA right there in Shagamo was brought down. And the AA members have said that it was a nene that brought down that particular young man who was the number one man of AA. Now, the name of that AA leader that was brought down in 2000 2013 is said to be Baga. A lot of people are saying that Anene brought down Baga. And soon after that, Anene traveled from Shagamo. He went to South Africa, SA. Now, the AA members have said that whenever he returns from South Africa, they are going to bring him down for bringing down their leader in 2013. But the black ass members have said that Anene had no hand in the bringing down of the AA leader in 2013. They have said that it was a hit squad from black ass that went to pull the heat, that this young man had nothing to do with that particular incident. So after all this, Anene returned back from South Africa and nothing has happened. But the AA members still have grudges about what happened. And finally, they were able to bring him down in this particular confraternity clash. So after Anene was brought down, the black ass members got pissed and they went after this particular man that you are seeing on your screen about three days ago. Now this person you are seeing is a pastor in a white garment church and some people were thinking that he is one of the choir leaders but at the end of the day, he is the pastor of a white garment church. The black ass member have said that this pastor is a member of AA. But the AA members have said that is not truth. They said the young man is innocent and according to the AA members right there in Shagamo, they said that this pastor have a brother who is a very popular AA member right there in Shagamo. They also said that a lot of AA members in Shagamo go to him for him to give them a spiritual prayers of protection. So because of this, most of his male members in that church are members of AA. Coupled with his brother who is a member of AA, it is said that the pastor is always hanging out with AA members because he is the one that does prayers of protection for AA members and also a lot of them are in his church. So because of this, the black ass members must have thought that the young man is also a member of AA. The AA members have said that the young man, the pastor, is not an AA member. He is innocent. That same night of three days ago, the black ass members still went ahead to pull a hit on this particular young man that you are currently seeing on your screen by the name of Mikolo. And they brought the young man down that same night. And according to words on the street, Mikolo is an upcoming musician right there in Shagamo. People are saying that he is also into Yahoo, but he is also an upcoming musician. He was brought down that very night, three days ago, that same day that the pastor was brought down. Now, the videos of all these people that were brought down is very graphic. It is going to be posted on the NV family telegram later in the day. And if you are not already on the telegram, I will leave a link in the comment section below. Just click the link and wait to be accepted into the group. It is a private group. So after this happened, the AA hit squad became very angry and they were in the streets looking for members of Black Ass. And the Black Ass hit squad were also in the streets looking for members of AA. Everyone were hiding their head. So yesterday afternoon, there was a news that came that three young men who are members of Black Ass have been brought down by the AA hit squad. Although there is no video or picture about these people that were brought down. But that same yesterday afternoon, the AA members sent a message to all the AA members in Shagamo telling them about the members that were brought down and in the evening, the Black Ass Hit Squad pulled a hit on five AA members that were sitting down. I am sure that most of you have also seen this video. Someone hit me up this morning and told me that some people are arguing on the internet because one of the young men was wearing a blue cap that the video quickly captured. Now, there is something that I really don't understand about some people that are confraternity members. I have said this times with that number. 
if you are a fraternity member and something happens in a location there should be some kind of network for you guys to be able to reach out to the people that live in that location and ask questions instead of people to just go to the internet and start arguing about what happened without even having any contest and some of these people are members of fraternity. anyway let's go back to the story so as this happened last night the video is very graphic and it is the same hit squad that went to break down the pastor that also brought down these five people but however i still pray that these young men find a way to stop bringing people down so if you live in shagamu and you are a member of either of these two groups i would advise you to hide your head but if you don't live there and you want to visit i will just tell you to postpone that visit until further notice so that you won't go work and give them your head to just cut off anyway you are watching Nigerian feel.